Hello, I'm Theo Hobson. Welcome to my short film called Is Secular Liberalism a Good Thing? I'm going to argue that it is a good thing, that it's essential to good healthy politics, but on the other hand it's not good enough because it eclipses larger conceptions of meaning. So we need a nuanced view of secular liberalism. I'm going to try and persuade you of this with these images. The first image represents the people of a country. There is a religion in the country which unites them all. Of course, that means social harmony, but the, on the other hand, it means a certain lack of freedom. Well, in modern times, what happens is that religious variety comes along, different religions, and that creates a crisis in political terms. What's going to unite these people who believe different things? Should we try and return to the old unity? Well, no, it's possible to have a new sort of political system, secular liberalism, represented here by SL, which allows people to retain these different forms of religion, but also unites them in a new sort of state. The problem is that secular liberalism becomes the dominant ideology that elbows aside the older religious forms of meaning, and that can cause a problem if one form of meaning stands up to it and tries to resist it. That conservative form of religion begins to see secular liberalism as a tyrannical force. Well, says a secular liberal, it's not a tyrannical force because it has positive values. It believes in human rights and justice for all. But on the other hand, this is quite a limited form of justice. It's based around individualism, the individual rights of people. And that creates relatively weak social bonds. Also, of course, it creates a strong form of capitalism, which also militates against the old social bonds. So these are the values of secular liberalism. And they come to seem the most real things in the social world, the other forms of identity, the religious forms, seem rather unreal compared to these forces that make the world go round. And when religion tries to stand up to secular liberalism, then you get a muddle, you get confusion. So, is there a solution? Well, I suggest that there is. I suggest that we need to separate the two realms so that secular liberalism becomes the ground of society, the form of politics that binds people together, but it keeps out of the way of wider religious meaning so that both levels should have their own separate domain. That's my argument for why secular liberalism is a good thing but a potentially dangerous thing that eclipses more meaningful values. Thanks for watching.